Hey folks, I'm back from my vacation, which some of you might not even have noticed because of the automatically uploaded videos that I prepared in advance. But um, Happy New Year to everyone. Hope you enjoyed your holidays. I certainly benefited from mine. It was good to get away from YouTube for a while and uh, hopefully recharge some creative energy. Well, that might be wishful thinking. I'm often not as creative as I would like to be, but I'll try my best in any case. So the Indiegogo funding campaign is going to end soon on January the 1st. You will have to tell me what to acquire with the funds. I'm not actually sure yet if I will be able to, at the end of the, the campaign, if I will be able to send uh, messages to everyone who contributed, hopefully. I mean, that would make sense because I would like for those people who actually contributed to specifically vote on what to get. But for now, I will link to a uh, Google form survey down below so that everyone can say what they think would be best to get with that. And then hopefully later when, when the campaign is over, I will be able to set up something just for people on there so that they have more of a stronger voice, if you will. So the amount that is currently displayed on the campaign page is vastly misleading. I mean, it's uh, 3000 something, but the amount that Indiegogo actually displays as available to me after their fees and everything is uh, 2450, I think. And then after tax, I calculated it's going to be down to 2050. So yeah, it's about a thousand lost in fees and tax and everything. But 2000 is still a lot of funds. It's very generous support. I appreciate that very much. Again, thanks to everyone who contributed. And uh, yeah, now you have to decide what I should uh, invest that in. So the camera is the original thing that I came up with because like I already mentioned this camera is not particularly good at all so I've narrowed it down to the Canon XA10 or the Canon EOS 70D they both seem very good and very suitable for what I'm doing here and uh, they're going to be about 1300 1400 well after shipping and all that 1500 you can pretty much say so that's one option uh, another option is uh, armor uh, speaking of which, the original armor sponsor, uh, I haven't had much luck in contacting him. He actually said on December 14th that he was going to transfer the funds for the complete full suit of armor that we were talking about on the next day, so December 15th, but nothing has happened since then. I, he hasn't responded to my email since then. So I'm getting more and more skeptical about this. It, it may still happen. I don't know, he may just have run into issues of having busy or whatever, but I don't know. I don't necessarily count on it at this point. Uh, otherwise, yeah, the, the full suit is not gonna happen unless he does uh, transfer the funds because the full suit is going to be well, 6,000, like I mentioned. And uh, the funding on the campaign is still far away from there. I mean, for that money, I could actually get just a hardened cuirass from the same armorer, uh, Royal Oak Armory here in Canada. And uh, he, he's very good at his uh, craft. So I would definitely prefer having it done by him. Yeah, sure, there are cheaper options. You can get a cuirass for 500 or something, but it's just not going to be the same level of quality. It's not gonna have the same historical accuracy. So, you know what I always keep saying on my channel, you get what you pay for, so. Otherwise, there is a cheaper alternative which would still be decent and uh, it would still be good in, in sort of practice. And uh, I could show a couple of things with that. I could do a few tests. Arm Street has very affordable armor. So I was looking at their armored legs and arms plus pauldrons. And uh, that would be a lot more affordable. It would be uh, 350 for the legs, 370 for the arms and pauldrons. And uh, then in addition, I would need a gambeson and arming pants, and those together would be 340. So that would be around a thousand. Uh, if I want to go for several things and uh, the, the funds are not quite enough, I can inject some funds from our household budget. It's not gonna be all that much, but you know, as far as, I'm, as I can. And uh, another option is uh, getting a Viking helmet made 
also buy Royal Oak Armory. It could be something simple like this helmet here for around $600 or it could get very fancy all the way up to $2,000 which I don't think that would be uh, ideal. I mean the ornamental stuff it looks very nice no doubt but that's not really what I'm about. I'm, I'm more about the you know more pragmatic you know, simple. And uh, then I was also considering getting the Phantom H3 drone, maybe, you know, for aerial shots and, and also when we do sword practice, you know, have an interesting uh, top-down view. But at this point, I don't necessarily think that it would come into use all that much. Um, might be better to prioritize other things, especially camera, because I'm using that every single time I make a video. That would be more bang for the buck, if you will. But again, like I said, it's up to you. Ultimately, you have to vote on that, so whatever. Another option would be to invest into a Kriegsmesser made by Albion. That thing is awesome. It would be really great to you know, test the power of two-handed curved blades and uh, see if there's really a significant difference to straight blades. I do think there's going to be some difference, but probably not as much as people generally think. So again, the link to the survey will be down below, so you can vote on what to acquire for the channel. And as far as upcoming videos are concerned, you can expect to see a review of this beast here pretty soon. New machete made by CRKT. It's not actually on the market yet. But um, first impression is really positive. This thing is awesome. <laughs> I've definitely been enjoying testing it. Then you'll see the first test of my synthetic flesh target made of silicone rubber. It turned out really well. I mean, I'm quite impressed by how realistic that stuff is. And of course, lots of other reviews to come as well. And I also plan to make a video on the comparison between a straight and a curved blade in the thrust. Plan to test that to see how significant the difference really is between the two. Okay, that's it for now. So again, I wish all of you a happy 2015 and um, thanks for watching.